Ryan, uh, you guys head to LA today. Yes, I've had a, a pretty good week of, of training. Uh, when you spoke with us yesterday, you um, you mentioned that this is an opportunity for you guys to for the team to to go down to LA and to, to make a statement. Um, how are you going to be able to do that, uh, knowing that Nuhu is not with the team at the moment? Well, making a statement, you know, the statement is just winning the game. However however we can. I've got a contingency plan in place in case new who can't play, in case our doctors don't clear them. Uh, we've got a contingency plan and we'll just, we'll just, you know, go with the training that we've done this week. It's a beautiful day today in sunny Seattle and uh, the guys are ready. I think they're tired of all the training actually. I mean, they're tired of us yapping at them, so they're ready for the game. Optimism abound uh, here at training, especially within the players. Is that a, a testament to to the philosophy that you have been implementing throughout the year when when times weren't going well you guys kept them pretty pretty positive when times were going well you kept them pretty level is this a, 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 the the payoff for that I would always I would always give credit to the group they're an experienced bunch of players uh, I think the messaging throughout the years yes is MLS is a hard league I mean it's hard to win we're, we're one of the final eight teams. So that in itself is some measure of success. Obviously the standards we have at our club are a little bit higher, so the game takes on a little bit more significance. But I would say we can play free. I mean, everybody expects them to be the favorites. We can go down there and just play how we want to play, play free. And I think that's some of what you see. And you guys, uh, as, as a team, the organization does a good job of involving the community in, in playoff pushes. What message do you have for the fans that are going to be, you know, sitting at bars watching the games? I hope you guys have a great night. Don't drink too much. Don't drink and drive. But uh, I hope you buy a round of congratulatory shots of your favorite after we win. You spoke of, um, you know contingency plans um, but earlier in the week you were like if I get two days with everybody I feel confident um, not having those two days does that diminish the confidence no it doesn't diminish the confidence it makes things more challenging Jada I mean Paul's gonna be a game time decision knew who's gonna be a game time decision based on what our doctors say so yeah it, it raises some different challenges would have loved to have them both in full training but that's the way it is what I would say, the counterpoint to that is, look, Paul knows exactly what he needs to do. He's been doing it for since halfway through the year, and knew who's been here for what five, six years. He knows. He knows what he needs to do. You guys, um, you know, things are pretty balanced. I mean, obviously they've been able to get the goals for you, but if you take the teams separate of this actual matchup, uh, does the midfield? Could you say a little bit edge on that one, or where, where would you say that maybe you guys might have an edge if you just separate the op, the actual playing against I each think, other? Well, I, I, I love your question because I think the teams are evenly matched. I mean, they obviously have high-profile players. We have players that have been winning championships and winning games for a long time, so, you know, status, status is sometimes a funny thing. You know, I joked around a little bit last yesterday about you know Steph has more playoff experience than their goalkeeper I was a little tongue-in-cheek but it's true I mean he's got more playoff experience so two evenly matched teams every component of the field is going to be vital for us to come out with a win if we can control midfield yes if Jordan has a opportunity great if we're staunch defensively great Steph's going to need to have a good game I think it's getting, we're going to need everybody when you say that um, they're tired of yapping, or you're, you're, you guys talking, all of that kind of stuff, Steph's had met, said that too. Like there's yeah. probably nothing else after three weeks that you can really say, 20 days, you can really say. Yeah. Uh, does that kind of carry into those last moments before kickoff or that la before you uh, take the field too? My, Do you my, want to my, my speech before the game is going to be pretty short, yeah. Jada. <laughs> I'll remind them of a few specific things, but, you know, Look, they're all human beings. It's a big game. The crowd's going to be into it. LAFC has a good crowd. They'll have butterflies. They should be nervous. What that nervous energy does is it turns into adrenaline, you know, after you get the nerves out. So we'll just need to, you know, see how the game goes. At this stage of the playoffs, every game, every game is important. We, we talked about that yesterday. But 
how how does this help you set up for the future? How how does the, a moment like going up against a team that you guys have you know struggled with help you set up for next year in terms of the, the mentality that you want to instill in the players? Well, I will see because I'm confident that the players are going to bring it. Uh, we'll need to make sure that we see the fight, the desire, the little, the one percent, two percent more of smarts, the one or two percent more of effort to reach a ball that they might think they can't reach uh, collectively as a group. You know, again, that's one of our strengths. We've been a tight group for many years. That collective has to be one of those little margins to help us win. But as far as the future is concerned, I mean, this is just another step for guys like Obed and, you know, Paul and, and Jackson and, you know, some of the guys that maybe don't have as much experience. These are these are big moments for them. Their fans, the last couple be, guys. their fans tend to be pretty, pretty from Bucks. It's a, it's a positive thing in, in football. Um, how, what is key for your team to do to, to eliminate them as a factor in the game? Well, one of my mentors, Jimmy Gabriel, always used to say that teams come into big stadiums, come into good atmospheres, the visiting team, that is, and they get inspired just as much as the home team. I mean, sure, the home crowd is going to support their team, but again, going back to that nerves that turn into adrenaline and stuff like that, a big crowd, those guys are showmen in some ways. I mean, <clears throat> they, they, they'll feed off the crowd, whether it's for LAFC or you know, our fans that I know will be down there, uh, they'll, we'll have a vocal minority down there. So big games, big stadiums, loud stadiums, sometimes that can spur even the opposition. Anything else? All right, nice guys.